Hello, this is Filar. I'm going to do a review of the Zune software client from uh, Microsoft. Go to zune.com and find the client and download it. Um, and it actually is a lot, has a lot more features than uh, Windows Media Player. Um, this thing can only be uh, run on Windows. Um, but let's just start with my collection, uh, my music here. You can see there's uh, different ways that you can uh, find your music. There's genres here. And grab a genre and see what all's in it. You can double click over here just to play this whole category. Um, albums. Playlists. Uh, basically, when you're back um, browsing your music, you can just drag something down here and then drop it on a playlist. Um, <clears throat> videos. It's pretty quick. Just kind of snappy interface. So let's go back here. Let's go back to music real quick. If I'm playing something, there's a couple different views. There's the uh, now playing view, which uh, if you're inactive for a little bit, this will come up and fill the screen. Um, you can see down here it says it's downloading some podcasts for me. We'll, we'll get to that real quick. But let's go back to the library here. Um, here's my podcasts that are in my collection. And um, it's pretty cool. Let's go to the marketplace. Um, podcasts are free. And... Um, so you can just go find a podcast, click on it, and um, if you click subscribe, the default is that it will download three episodes for you, and it will always keep three episodes. Um, and it'll, if you have a Zune um, that you're syncing with this software, it'll automatically delete the old podcasts and keep uh, the three newest on your device and also on your your. Uh, player here. So if I hit subscribe, um, it should start downloading immediately. And it's pretty cool because this is free. Now, um, music um, is a little different. This is subscription based. So um, iTunes, you know, they just buy, make charge you for every single thing that you buy. Um, here, if you pay $15 a month, you have unlimited access to every song in their library, pretty much. So there's tens of thousands, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of songs that um, you can download them all. Um, the, this is uh, summer 2010, and right now you pay $15 a month. And it's, you know, consider the cost of a CD as, you know, 15 to $25. You're paying $15 a month for this subscription. You get 10 songs to download that are yours forever. So it's basically like buying a CD. But on top of those 10 songs that you get, you get every other song in their whole library to uh, listen to for free. Um, of course, if your subscription expires, the, uh, the, the music that you haven't purchased... Uh, no, will no longer play. Um, but uh, it's just pretty cool. Um, let me get something that's not explicit. Ooh, here we go. So if you like an artist or a song, um, you can click this button called Smart DJ. Let me see if I can just get to it. You can either stream the music or you can go ahead and download it. I can download it because I have the uh, Zune um, Pass. But you can click this thing called Smart DJ and it will start... Um, it'll go ahead and pick the song that you're playing and it'll also pick songs for you that are uh, similar. Kind of like Pandora. 
Only different. Um, what else? What else? Of course, uh, apps. You can download apps for your Zoom. So if I could find a USB cable, I'm going to plug in my Zoom real quick. All right, I got it plugged in here. Now, if we go to this uh, little icon in the corner here, this is my device. And it's a pretty cool way to go ahead and, and see the status of your device. Um, obviously, it's already started syncing. You can see what it wants to sync. Here's that podcast that I just uh, subscribed to. And um, you can see this is a 32 uh, gig Zune. Um, I have about 1,500 songs. Um, I don't know, a couple hundred podcasts. Um, this is probably my apps and stuff. Eh, it says my apps is only 117. But anyway. All right, let's uh, check out the... Um, let's go to the marketplace and videos. Now, the videos are a little different. They, they have a lot of video and TV, but these, uh, you have to pay for these. Um, they're not covered with the Zoom Pass or whatever. Um, but if you so desire to purchase your videos through this, you certainly can through Zoom. Here's a popular one. The, uh, So anyway, there are also uh, video podcasts. Let's do these are video podcasts. I can just play them by double clicking on them. Apparently, they have uh, commercials. But when you just download them, uh, no, this isn't a commercial. This is actually embedded in the beginning of the podcast. So you can just stream them or download them or do whatever. It's uh, nice and fast. And let me grab a a song out of the market print place just because I want to. We'll download. It's downloading. And this is downloading to my library, so now it's in my library. I just play it straight out of my library now. And as you can see, my Zune is already syncing. That, that song that I just downloaded. There it is. It's already on there. So it's quick, fast. Um... Search works out pretty cool. Let's do... When you do a search, it searches the marketplace and your library too. So here's my library. Here's the marketplace. You can see that I'm a garbage fan because I've got uh, this music here. But it's quick and easy to get to. If I want to play this album, I just double click it here. And I click that and it starts.